Hey, my name is Nick McLean, and this is the NM Music Channel, where we're talking about anything and everything related to being a modern musician, from performing to educating or being a student to running and operating a music business. So today we're talking about the three L's of listening, or I should say really the three levels of listening, since there aren't really any L's or words for the L's or words for the L's. This is good. The three L's of listening. First of all, what are the three levels of listening? The three levels of listening are a tool for us to use to better our practice. These three levels, I'm sure there are many more than three by the way, but these three levels help us to categorize music in terms of what we're listening to and how we're working on it. The first level of listening that we have to realize exists is the most basic level of listening. The first level of listening is just hearing. I always equate it to walking into a grocery store and unless it's your favorite tune that's playing up on those little speakers, then it's just background music. But it's important background music. Without that background music, it wouldn't be the same grocery store or the same elevator. Or going further, it wouldn't be the same video game. It wouldn't be the same movie per se if you're in the movie theater or TV show. Without that background music, it's definitely different. It's not, you won't miss it, right? What's important about this level of listening as a musician is to realize that hearing music is not the same as listening to music. Everyone can hear music. Everyone. Well, not everyone. It's sad. Everyone has the ability to hear music. The second level of listening is a step up from that. Actually listening to music versus hearing it. I think you can't be distracted during this level of listening. You actually have to um, be on a walk that you don't really have to think on or be in a mood or in a room where you're solely just listening to, to music. You're not reading, you're not surfing through Facebook, you're not on YouTube. You're not talking to someone. You're not doing anything other than putting your primary attention toward listening to music. I love doing this on a walk. I love doing this um, in my office when I'm just relaxing. I literally do nothing else while I listen to music or my record player over there. I love listening to music in the car. I think this level of listening is the first level of listening that you need to get into, especially if you're gonna become a musician. There are so many students that I have. They'll have played trumpet for six years and they come to me and they're like, hey Nick, uh, I'd like some lessons. So the first question I have for them is, so who do you listen to? And they can't answer this. It's because they've never sat down to do the second level of listening. To actually sit down and know who you're listening to, know what you're listening to, know the name of the song, be able to describe it. Uh, what's the instrumentation? You're actually observing these details, but not going too much beyond that. You're just listening. It could be for enjoyment or for for fun, mostly. Pardon the interruption. Yesterday's Nick was not very smart, and he didn't really tell you everything that you need to know. There's a couple things that today Nick needs to come in and tell you. First of all, thanks for watching so much. I hope these practice techniques or these tips are helping you think about your practice in a new way. Hope that it changes the way you play. Second, don't forget to like and subscribe. Third, if you go to my website, hit the lessons button and join the mailing list. I'm going to give you the free copy of my lesson plan, which has the listening part of the lesson plan. If you're interested, hit me up down below or on Facebook, or you can find my email on my website. There's a lot of ways to get in contact. I do lessons online, in home. Actually, the whole point of my business is I find your perfect teacher. We meet, you tell me what you like to do on your instrument, and I find your perfect teacher for you. Hit me up for a free lesson. The third level of listening, I think, is jumping up a giant step here. A lot of people don't do the second level of listening, let alone a lot of people are not doing the third level of listening. And if you want to become a musician, the third level of listening, or what I call the third level of listening, the, what I call the third level of listening is to actually sit down and listen while you practice. It sounds very, very simple to say that, but no one does it. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do that? You know who I'm talking about.
listening while you practice is the easiest way to get better at your, your, your instrument. So what I do is I load up either a program that automatically loops the section I'm working on, or I'm just lazy, I'll just click and drag back, or just tap on the screen back to where I'm listening. And it could be five, six, seven seconds of music that is four measures long. I'm transcribing those four measures. Transcribing is the act of copying and playing it without having written it down, or I guess you could write it down if you want, but I don't. I think it's better just to use these things. Right? The third level of listening is copying and mimicking. All right, so those are the three levels of listening. Today was a quick video. I hope that this opens your eyes and I want you to ask and answer this question in the comments below. Ask yourself, do you do all three levels of listening? Do you listen on all three levels? Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you subscribe and uh, follow and like and check out our Facebook, check out our website. We are a music company. We do music things like educate, perform, and play, and talk about music. I love running my music business, so if you have questions about that, hit me up. Um, yeah. See ya.